Janis Joplin, the renowned music artist of the 1960s, experienced profound loneliness and heart-wrenching insecurities despite her fame and success. The film Janie's Little Girl Blue explores the life of this Texas-born singer who sought solace in drugs and alcohol to cope with her inner demons. Despite her desire to get stoned, stay happy, and have a good time, the darker side of her life was marked by self-doubt and fear of rejection. As we delve into this classic, we uncover the haunting truth behind the fame and fortune of a rock star who continued to grapple with her inner turmoil until her untimely death. Janis Joplin is best remembered for her rebellious lifestyle and distinctive voice. She was a trailblazer for women in rock music, breaking new ground and inspiring countless performers. Her free-flowing fashion sense and love for psychedelic colors added to her unique persona. Born in 1943 in Port Arthur, Texas, Joplin's interest in music began at an early age. She was influenced by various genres, including blues, folk, and rock. However, it wasn't until she moved to San Francisco in the mid-60s that she found her true calling as a rock singer. Joplin's career was short but impactful. She quickly gained a reputation for her powerful and emotive voice, which set her apart from other singers of the time. Her performances were known to be raw and intense, often leaving audiences in awe. One of Joplin's most iconic moments was her appearance at the Monterey Pop Festival in 1967. Her performance was a breakthrough, and she quickly became one of the most sought-after acts in the music industry. Joplin's love for fast cars and her psychedelic Porsche became a symbol of her rebellious spirit. Her free-flowing fashion sense, which included bell-bottoms, fringe, and bold prints, was a reflection of her individuality and nonconformity. Sadly, Joplin's life was cut short when she died of a drug overdose in 1970 at the age of 27. However, her impact on the music industry and her influence on future generations of musicians cannot be overstated. Joplin's career paved the way for women in rock music and her distinctive voice and powerful performances continue to inspire musicians today. Her legacy lives on through her music, which remains a classic example of the power and emotion of rock music. Janis Joplin, the music artist known for her rule-breaking, rebellious image, was also a complex young woman. She was a screamer on stage, but off stage, she struggled with addiction and her own sexual liberation. Raised in Port Arthur, Texas, Janice found herself caught between her father's quiet intellectual nonconformity and her mother's traditional views. This upbringing shaped her unique perspective and fueled her desire to break free from societal norms. Janice's unconventional lifestyle was a form of self-expression, a way for her to push back against the expectations placed upon her. She was a trailblazer, unafraid to challenge the status quo and live life on her own terms. However, her self-destructive tendencies, including her struggles with addiction, ultimately contributed to her untimely death at the age of 27. Despite her tragic end, Janice Joplin's impact on the music industry is undeniable. Her powerful voice and raw, emotional performances continue to inspire musicians to this day. And while descriptions like Screamer and Addict may capture certain aspects of her personality, they don't tell the whole story. Janie's was a multifaceted individual with a deep passion for music and a desire to challenge the world around her. As we look back on her life and legacy, it's important to remember the complexities of this music artist. She was a symbol of rebellion and sexual liberation, but she was also a daughter, a sister, and a friend. Her music continues to resonate with audiences today, serving as a reminder of her enduring impact on the world of rock and roll. Janis Joplin's early life was marked by a strong sense of individuality and a love for blues music, which set her apart from her peers. Growing up in Port Arthur, Texas, she was often bullied and ostracized in high school for her different beliefs and behavior. Her interest in desegregation and her unique fashion choices made her a target for taunts and name-calling with classmates labeling her as a creep, pig, and freak. Despite the challenges she faced, Joplin's passion for singing only grew stronger. She found solace in the raw and emotional sounds of blues music, which spoke to her on a deep level. Her love for this genre would later become a major influence on her own music, giving it a distinctive and powerful edge. Rejection from her peers, however, was a recurring theme in Joplin's life. After high school, she attended college in Austin, Texas, where she continued to face ridicule and rejection. 
It wasn't until she moved to San Francisco and joined the burgeoning music scene there that she finally found her place and began to gain recognition for her talents. Despite the challenges she faced, Joplin remained true to herself and her passions. Her early experiences of rejection and bullying only fueled her determination to succeed and make a name for herself in the music industry. And that she did, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and influence musicians to this day. Janis Joplin, the groundbreaking music artist, had a complex journey when it came to education and substance use. She attended several colleges, including the University of Texas at Austin, but never completed her education. Despite this, Joplin's talent and passion for music would eventually propel her to stardom. Throughout her college years, Joplin struggled with drug use and developed a reputation as a heavy user. However, it's important to note that her substance use did not define her as a person or an artist. Instead, it was one aspect of her life that contributed to her unique perspective and artistry. Before becoming famous, Joplin was once engaged to Peter DeBlanc. However, the engagement ultimately ended, possibly for the best. While the specific reasons for their breakup are not entirely clear, it's possible that Joplin's focus on her music and desire for independence played a role. Despite these challenges, Joplin's contributions to the music world remained significant. Her powerful voice and raw emotionality continue to resonate with audiences today, and her influence can be heard in the work of countless artists who followed in her footsteps. Ultimately, Joplin's legacy serves as a testament to the power of artistic expression and the enduring impact of a truly unique and unforgettable talent. In 1965, the health of Janis Joplin, the renowned music artist, was rapidly declining due to her drug use. Her friends were deeply concerned, noticing that she had become skeletal and frail. Seeking a change, Joplin decided to return to her hometown in Texas. Once she arrived in Texas, Joplin made the decision to turn her life around. She made a conscious effort to get clean, abandoning her drug and alcohol habits. In doing so, she took a significant step towards improving her health and well-being. Joplin's newfound commitment to her health extended beyond just giving up drugs and alcohol. She also decided to enroll in school once again, further investing in her personal growth and development. This was a positive and constructive way for her to channel her energy and focus on building a better future for herself. By making these changes, Joplin was able to temporarily recover from the health issues that had been plaguing her. It was a challenging journey, but one that ultimately paid off and allowed her to continue pursuing her passion for music. This just goes to show that with determination and a commitment to self-care, it's possible to overcome even the most difficult obstacles. When she joined Big Brother and the holding company in 1966, it marked the music artist's first big break. The band's second album, Cheap Thrills, became an instant hit, propelling them into the spotlight. However, by 1968, she decided to part ways with the band, seeking new artistic directions. Despite the split, their performance at the Monterey Festival in 1969 was a triumph. Yet, her heart was no longer in it. Janie's Joplin took the stage at Woodstock on August 16, 1969, but her performance was far from her best. The music artist had been using drugs, which affected her performance that night. Despite the disappointing show, Joplin continued to make strides in her career. In 1969, Joplin formed the Cosmic Blues Band, which became her backing band. The following year, she set up the Full Tilt Boogie Band, which accompanied her on her final tour and during the recording of her last album. While working on the album Pearl, Joplin suffered a setback. She had developed a habit of using cocaine, which eventually led to an overdose in a Los Angeles hotel. The music artist was found unresponsive in her hotel room on October 4, 1970, and was pronounced dead later that day. Joplin's untimely death was a significant loss to the music industry. She was a trailblazer and a pioneer known for her powerful voice and electrifying performances. Her music continues to inspire and influence new generations of musicians and fans alike. Janis Joplin, the music artist known for her powerful voice and energetic performances, presented a feisty image to the public. However, those close to her described her as shy, sensitive, and intelligent in private. This dichotomy between her public and private personas created an intriguing allure around the music artist. 
Joplin's raw and emotional singing style, combined with her rebellious image, made her a symbol of liberation for women who didn't conform to conventional beauty standards. She was unapologetically herself, and her confidence inspired many women to embrace their individuality. As a figurehead of the second wave feminist movement, Joplin encouraged women to challenge societal norms and expectations. Despite her untimely death at the age of 27, Janis Joplin's impact on the music industry and feminist movement remained significant. Her music continues to resonate with audiences today, and her influence can be heard in the work of many contemporary musicians. The music artist's legacy serves as a testament to the power of individuality and the importance of self-expression. Janis Joplin's story is a reminder that there is often more to an individual than meets the eye. While her public image was that of a wild and reckless rock star, in private, she was a thoughtful and sensitive person who used her platform to advocate for women's rights and inspire individuality. This classic music artist's enduring impact is a testament to her talent and her unwavering commitment to being true to herself. Janis Joplin, the groundbreaking musical artist, used her platform to advocate for women to embrace their sexual needs through her powerful songs like Get It While You Can. Her raw and emotional performances paved the way for many female musicians who followed in her footsteps. Born on January 19, 1943, in Port Arthur, Texas, Joplin's unique sound and style were influenced by her love for blues and soul music. She rose to fame in the late 1960s as the lead singer of the psychedelic rock band Big Brother and The Holding Company. Joplin's powerful voice and commanding stage presence quickly made her a fan favorite and a symbol of the counterculture movement. Joplin's music was not just about personal expression, but also about empowering women to take control of their desires and experiences. Through her lyrics and performances, she encouraged women to embrace their sexuality and not be ashamed of their needs. This message was particularly powerful in a time when societal norms and expectations often silenced and oppressed women. Tragically, Joplin's life was cut short when she died at the age of 27, becoming a member of the infamous 27 Club of Musicians who died at that age. Despite her untimely death, Joplin's impact on the music industry and on women's empowerment continues to be felt today. Her legacy lies on through her music and through the many female musicians who have been inspired by her. Joplin's advocacy for women's sexual freedom and her groundbreaking sound and style continue to resonate with audiences today, making her a true icon of rock and roll. Janis Joplin's contributions to music and women's empowerment are undeniable. Her powerful voice and message continue to inspire and resonate with fans around the world, making her a true legend in the world of rock and roll. Her music and advocacy will always be remembered and celebrated. Janis Joplin, the music artist known for her powerful and emotive voice, died on October 4, 1970, at the young age of 27. The cause of her death was an accidental heroin overdose. The final day of her life was filled with both hope and tragedy. On that day, Joplin was full of excitement and anticipation for upcoming recording sessions. She had been working on her latest album, Pearl, and was eager to continue the creative process. However, as the day wore on, she ended up alone in her hotel room, away from the hustle and bustle of the studio. It was there, in that isolated space, that Joplin made a fateful decision. She chose to use heroin, a substance that would ultimately claim her life. The details of what happened next are not entirely clear, but it is believed that she died shortly after using the drug. Joplin's body was discovered by her road manager, John Cook, after she failed to emerge from her hotel room. The news of her death sent shockwaves through the music industry and beyond. Fans mourned the loss of this talented and trailblazing artist who had left an indelible mark on the world of rock and roll. To this day, Joplin's music continues to inspire and captivate audiences. Her final album, Pearl, was released posthumously and became one of her most successful works. It is a testament to her enduring talent and legacy and a reminder of the tragic circumstances that cut her life short. Janis Joplin's life was marked by love and tragedy. A man who held deep feelings for the music artist had a letter waiting for her at her hotel, but unfortunately, she never got to see it. This misconnection adds a layer of melancholy to Joplin's story. One of Joplin's close friends, Peggy Casserda, 
has shared an alternate theory about the musician's death. Cassida claims that Joplin's passing was not due to an overdose, as it's commonly believed, but rather the result of a fall and asphyxiation. This revelation has sparked further intrigue around the circumstances of Joplin's untimely death. Delving deeper into Cassida's account, one can't help but wonder about the validity of her claims and the potential motivations behind sharing this version of events. Regardless, it is clear that the music artist's life and death continue to captivate audiences, leaving a lasting impact on the world of music and popular culture. As we reflect on Joplin's life, it is impossible to ignore the profound influence she had on the industry and her fans. Her untimely passing, whether due to an overdose or asphyxiation, has left an indelible mark on the world, and her music remains a testament to her enduring talent. Through her powerful voice and emotive performances, Joplin connected with audiences in a way few artists have been able to achieve. Her tragic death, shrouded in mystery, has only added to her allure and solidified her status as a cultural icon. In the end, Janie's Joplin's life and career continue to resonate with fans, both old and new. Her music, filled with raw emotion and unapologetic authenticity, remains a powerful force in the world of rock and roll. And while her death may have been shrouded in tragedy, her life and artistry remain a beacon of inspiration for aspiring musicians and fans alike. Janie's Joplin, a groundbreaking music artist, made her mark in the 1960s with her powerful and soulful vocals. She quickly rose to fame as a top female singer, captivating audiences with her unique sound and relatable personality. However, Joplin's offstage struggles were just as intense as her onstage performances. Despite her success, Joplin struggled to find a companion and often turned to hard partying to mask her loneliness. Her desire for love and connection was a constant theme in her life, and she was known to have had several tumultuous relationships throughout her career. Joplin's impact on the music industry is undeniable. She broke through barriers for female musicians and paved the way for those who came after her. Her soulful sound and raw emotion continue to inspire musicians today. The film Janie's Little Girl Blue provides a glimpse into the life of this music legend. It explores her struggles and triumphs both on and off the stage. The show highlights Joplin's incredible talent and her impact on the music industry, as well as the challenges she faced as a woman in a male-dominated field. Joplin's legacy lives on through the many musicians she has influenced. Her unique sound and powerful vocals can be heard in the music of leading female musicians today. This classic artist will always be remembered for her contributions to the music industry and her impact on the lives of those who came after her. Joplin's story is a reminder of the struggles that many musicians face, even in the face of success. Her talent and determination continue to inspire musicians today, and her legacy will live on for generations to come. The music industry would not be the same without her, and her impact will continue to be felt for years to come. Born in 1943 in Port Arthur, Texas, Janice Joplin was the first child of Seth Joplin, an engineer, and Dorothy Joplin, a registrar at a business college, the middle-class family life in a conservative town proved to be a stark contrast to Janice's free-spirited personality. Janice's love for music started at a young age. She was particularly drawn to blues and folk music, often listening to records by Bessie Smith, Ma Rainey, and Lee Belly. Her interest in music deepened as she grew older, and she began performing in local coffee houses while attending college in Beaumont and Austin. In 1966, Janice moved to San Francisco where she joined the psychedelic rock band Big Brother and The Holding Company. The band's raw and energetic sound, combined with Janice's powerful and emotive vocals, quickly gained them a dedicated following. Janice's unique style and stage presence were heavily influenced by her idols, including blues singers Odetta and Big Mama Thornton. She also drew inspiration from the burgeoning counterculture movement in San Francisco, which emphasized individuality, self-expression, and experimentation. Throughout her career, Janice was known for her close relationships with other musicians, including Jimi Hendrix, Grace Slick, and Bob Dylan. These friendships not only provided her with a supportive community, but also exposed her to new musical styles and ideas. Despite her success, Janice struggled with addiction and personal demons throughout her life. Nonetheless, her music remains a powerful testament to her talent and enduring influence on rock and roll. 
growing up in Port Arthur, Texas. Janice Joplin was an outsider who felt out of place in the conservative town. However, she found solace in music from a young age. At 13, she received a set of records as a gift that included artists like Bessie Smith, Lee Belly, and Big Mama Thornton. These blues and folk musicians sparked something within Janie's their raw emotion, and powerful voices resonated with her. During her high school years, Janie stood out due to her unique singing style and love for blues music. She began performing at local events and quickly gained recognition for her extraordinary talent. In her senior year, she was crowned ugliest man on campus in a cruel prank orchestrated by her peers. This incident left a deep wound, but it also fueled her desire to prove herself and escape the confines of her hometown. Janie's attended college in Beaumont in Austin, where she continued to develop her craft. She started singing in local bands and experimenting with different styles. Her passion for music only grew stronger as she honed her skills and gained more experience. Eventually, she decided to leave Texas behind and moved to San Francisco, the epicenter of the 1960s counterculture movement. There, she found her tribe and embraced her true identity as a powerful, soulful singer. Janice's pivotal experiences in her teenage years set her on a path towards musical greatness. Her love for blues music, coupled with her desire to escape the limitations of her hometown, drove her to pursue a career in music. Janice Joplin's passion for her craft was ignited by the artists who inspired her and the challenges she faced along the way. Born in 1943, Janice Joplin's life was marked by numerous challenges. Raised in Port Arthur, Texas, she struggled to fit in due to her unconventional views and artistic inclinations. Ostracized by her peers, Joplin found solace in music, often turning to blues and folk records for comfort. As a young adult, Joplin's financial struggles intensified. She attended college intermittently, but never completed her degree, instead opting to follow her passion for music. To make ends meet, she took on various jobs, including working as a waitress and a grocery clerk. Despite her talent, Joplin faced skepticism from the music industry. Record executives doubted her ability to succeed commercially, citing her unconventional appearance and style. However, Joplin refused to conform to industry standards and remained committed to her unique sound and image. In 1966, Joplin joined the psychedelic rock band Big Brother and The Holding Company. Although the group initially struggled to gain traction, they eventually caught the attention of Columbia Records. However, even with a major label behind her, Joplin continued to face obstacles. Critics dismissed her as a mere novelty act and some dismissed her talent as a mere imitation of other artists. Undeterred, Joplin honed her craft and developed a distinctive vocal style that blended blues, soul, and rock. She also began writing her own songs, further solidifying her place in the industry. In 1968, Joplin and Big Brother and The Holding Company released their breakthrough album, Cheap Thrills, which featured the hit single piece of my heart. Despite her success, Joplin continued to face personal and professional challenges. She struggled with addiction and relationships, and her career was marked by periods of intense productivity followed by periods of inactivity. Nevertheless, Joplin remained a trailblazer in the music industry, paving the way for future generations of female artists. Joplin's resilience and determination serve as a testament to her enduring legacy. Her music continues to inspire and captivate audiences and her influence can be heard in the work of countless artists who followed in her footsteps. Joplin's story is a reminder that success is often born out of adversity and that the greatest artists are those who refuse to conform to industry expectations. After years of performing at local clubs and bars, Janie's Joplin's breakthrough moment came in 1967 at the Monterey Pop Festival. Until then, she was relatively unknown outside Texas. Her powerful and emotive voice left audiences in awe, and her performance was a catalyst for her rise to fame. Music critic Ralph J. Gleason described it as the most remarkable performance I've ever seen by any performer. In 1968, Janie's released her first solo album, I Got Dem All Cosmic Blues Again Mama. It was a commercial success and showcased her unique blend of rock, soul, and blues. Her song Peace of My Heart became a massive hit and solidified her status as a leading artist in the music industry. Guitar Sam Andrew, who worked with Janice, praised her ability to connect with her audience, saying, she could just sing right through you. 
Janice's career reached new heights with her 1971 album, Pearl. It was released posthumously following her untimely death and became her most successful album. The single Me and Bobby McGee topped the charts and remains one of her most popular songs. Producer Paula Rothschild, who worked on Pearl, highlighted Janice's growth as an artist, stating she had really come into her own. Despite her tragic end, Janice Joplin's impact on the music industry is undeniable. She broke barriers for women in rock music and inspired countless artists with her raw and powerful voice. Her breakthrough moments at Monterey Pop with I Got Dim All Cosmic Blues Again Mama and Pearl have left an indelible mark on the tapestry of music history. Janis Joplin, a music artist who rose to fame in the late 1960s, had a unique approach to her work that was deeply rooted in her personal experiences and worldview. Growing up in Port Arthur, Texas, Joplin felt like an outsider and often struggled to fit in. This sense of otherness would later become a defining characteristic of her music as she sang about pain, rejection, and the human condition with raw emotion and authenticity. Joplin's creative process was often spontaneous and intuitive. She would draw inspiration from a wide range of sources, including blues musicians like Bessie Smith and gospel singers like Mahalia Jackson. Joplin's vocal style was raw and powerful, and she often ad-libbed lyrics and improvised melodies during live performances. This approach gave her music a sense of urgency and intensity that captivated audiences and cemented her status as a rock and roll icon. One of the things that made Joplin's style unique was her ability to blend different genres and influences. She was known for her powerful, soulful voice, which she used to sing blues, rock, and folk music with equal skill and passion. Joplin's music was a reflection of her own eclectic tastes and influences and she was never afraid to take risks or push boundaries. Joplin's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in her music. She sang about topics like love, heartbreak, and social justice with raw emotion and honesty. Joplin's music was a reflection of her own struggles and triumphs, and she used her platform to speak out against injustice and promote positive change. One of Joplin's most famous songs, Me and Bobby McGee, is a perfect example of how she blended different genres and influences to create something truly unique. The song features a country-inflected melody and lyrics that explore the themes of freedom, love, and loss. Joplin's raw, emotive vocal performance brings the song to life and gives it a sense of urgency and intensity that still resonates with audiences today. In conclusion, Janice Joplin's artistic vision and process were deeply rooted in her personal experiences and worldview. She approached her work with raw emotion, authenticity, and a willingness to take risks and push boundaries. Joplin's ability to blend different genres and influences combined with her powerful, soulful voice made her music a unique and captivating force that continues to resonate with audiences today. Janice Joplin, a music artist who left an indelible mark on the industry, was born in 1943. Her powerful and emotive voice, raw and uninhibited stage presence, and trailblazing spirit transformed the genre of rock music. According to Anthony DeCurtis, a contributing editor at Rolling Stone, Janis Joplin was a pioneer in many ways. She was one of the first women to front a rock band, and she did it with an intensity and rawness that was completely unprecedented. Joplin's influence can be heard in the music of countless artists who followed in her footsteps. Grace Slick, lead singer of Jefferson Airplane, noted, Janice opened the door for women in rock and roll. She proved that you didn't have to be cute and perky to be a successful female singer. Joplin's vocal style, characterized by its raw emotion and gritty texture, challenged the conventions of the time. As David Frick, another contributing editor at Rolling Stone, put it, Janice Joplin's voice was a force of nature. It was raw and powerful, and she used it to convey a depth of emotion that was rare in rock music. Joplin's approach to storytelling was also groundbreaking. She sang about pain, heartache, and longing with a raw honesty that resonated with her audience. As Alice Ecalls, a professor of gender studies and history at the University of Southern California, explained, Janie's Joplin songs were not just about love and loss, they were about the human condition. She sang about the pain and joy of being alive and her audience connected with that on a deep level. Joplin's influence can be heard not only in the music of subsequent generations of rock musicians, 
but also in the work of contemporary artists such as Adele, Amy Winehouse, and Lady Gaga. These artists have all cited Joplin as an inspiration, citing her raw emotion, powerful voice, and unapologetic authenticity as touchstones for their own work. In conclusion, Janis Joplin's contribution to the music industry cannot be overstated. Her powerful voice, raw emotion, and uninhibited stage presence challenged conventions and paved the way for future generations of musicians. As David Frick put it, Janis Joplin was a trailblazer, a pioneer, and a true original. Her music will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. Janis Joplin, the groundbreaking singer known for her powerful voice and electrifying performances, led a fascinating life outside of the spotlight. Born on January 19, 1943, in Port Arthur, Texas, Joplin was deeply influenced by her small-town upbringing and the values she learned there. Raised in a conservative family, Joplin developed a strong sense of individuality and independence from a young age. She was known for her love of literature and poetry, often incorporating the works of writers like Walt Whitman and Jack Kerouac into her music. Joplin's passion for words and language was a defining characteristic of her songwriting, and her ability to convey complex emotions through her lyrics was one of her greatest strengths as an artist. Despite her success, Joplin remained committed to using her platform to make a difference in the world. She was a vocal advocate for civil rights and social justice, and she used her music to raise awareness about issues like poverty, racism, and inequality. Joplin was also a generous philanthropist, donating her time and resources to a variety of causes throughout her career. One of Joplin's most notable philanthropic efforts was her support for the Haight-Ashbury Free Clinic in San Francisco. The clinic, which provided free medical care to low-income residents, was a vital resource for the city's burgeoning counterculture movement. Joplin performed at numerous benefits for the clinic, and she even helped to raise funds for a new building to house its operations. Joplin's commitment to social justice was also reflected in her personal life. She was known for her fierce independence and her refusal to conform to societal expectations. Joplin was openly bisexual at a time when few public figures were willing to acknowledge their sexuality, and she was a vocal advocate for LGBTQ rights. In addition to her activism and philanthropy, Joplin was also a dedicated artist and performer. She was known for her intense, emotional performances, and she was deeply committed to her craft. Joplin's love of music was infectious, and she inspired countless fans and fellow musicians with her passion and dedication. Janie's Joplin's life and work were shaped by her personal values and interests from her love of literature and poetry to her commitment to social justice. Her philanthropic efforts and advocacy for marginalized communities continue to inspire and resonate today, and her music remains a testament to her enduring talent and legacy. Janice Joplin, the legendary singer who left an indelible mark on the music industry, passed away in 1970. Yet, her influence continues to resonate within the industry today. Known for her powerful and emotive voice, Joplin paved the way for female musicians in rock and blues music. Joplin's legacy lies in her ability to bear her soul through her music, breaking down barriers and challenging societal norms. She encouraged women to take center stage in a male-dominated industry, inspiring generations of musicians to follow in her footsteps. When it comes to the future, Joplin's advice for aspiring musicians would likely be to stay true to themselves and their art. She once said, Don't compromise yourself. You are all you've got. This sentiment remains relevant today as musicians continue to navigate the complex and ever-changing landscape of the music industry. Joplin's approach to music was raw and unapologetic, and she encouraged others to embrace their unique voices and perspectives. For those looking to make their mark in the industry, Joplin's advice is simple be authentic, be passionate, and never stop pushing boundaries. In the end, Joplin's legacy is a testament to the power of music to inspire change and challenge the status quo. Her contributions continue to resonate with musicians and fans alike, serving as a reminder of the importance of staying true to oneself and one's art. Janie's Joplin's journey in the music industry was nothing short of passionate and innovative. Born in 1943, she grew up in Texas, where her love for music began to flourish. In her teenage years, she started exploring different genres, from blues to folk, which would later influence her unique sound. Rejecting the social norms of her time, 
Johnny's move to San Francisco during the 60s, embracing its vibrant counterculture scene. She quickly gained recognition for her powerful and emotive voice, which resonated with the free-spirited youth of the era. In 1966, she joined the psychedelic rock band Big Brother and The Holding Company, further propelling her to stardom. Janice's stage presence was captivating, and her powerful voice left a lasting impact on all who heard it. Her innovative approach to music, blending blues, rock, and soul, pushed the boundaries of contemporary music. Her iconic performances, such as her rendition of Ball and Chain at the Monterey Pop Festival, solidified her status as a trailblazer in the industry. Despite facing numerous challenges, including addiction and the pressures of fame, Janie's never wavered from her authentic self. Her raw, unfiltered performances continue to inspire generations of musicians and fans alike. Her untimely death in 1970, at the age of 27, only added to her mystique and enduring influence. Janice Joplin's legacy is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her innovative spirit and unwavering passion continue to shape the entertainment industry, leaving a lasting impact that transcends time. Through her music, she reminds us all to embrace our true selves and to never stop pushing the boundaries of our creativity. Without a doubt, Janis Joplin left an indelible mark on the music industry. With her powerful and emotive voice, she quickly became a force to be reckoned with in the world of rock and blues. Born on January 19, 1943, in Port Arthur, Texas, Joplin's unique sound and style captivated audiences and fellow musicians alike. Throughout her career, Joplin released several successful albums, including Cheap Thrills and Pearl, which showcased her incredible vocal range and ability to convey raw emotion. Sadly, Joplin's life was cut short when she passed away on October 4, 1970, at the age of 27. Despite her untimely death, Joplin's music and legacy continued to resonate with fans around the world. Her unique sound and powerful performances have inspired countless musicians and continue to influence the music industry today. So, what do you think about Janice Joplin's work and legacy? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know which of her songs are your favorites. And don't forget to like and share this video with fellow music lovers. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Janice Joplin's life and career, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. We're always adding new videos, so there's always something new to discover. So step in and join us on this journey through the world of music and entertainment.